To all those people who said that I wouldn't amount to anything, I'm on YouTube, so look at me now. Because you can. Hello and welcome back to Coffee and Film. I hope you're staying safe and well where you are. Now, we have a HBO Max film today, as they will slowly begin to take over the world, which is Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg coming together again for a film called An American Pickle. It's directed by Brandon Trost, who they work with on such films as This Is The End. Now, I'm just going to read out the, uh, the entry on IMDb sum summarising the plot, uh, just to give you an idea of what to expect. An immigrant worker at a pickle factory is accidentally preserved for a hundred years and wakes up in modern-day Brooklyn. What the f***? I don't think we need to say any more. Let's get straight into this trailer and see what the hell this is about, okay? Right, let's give this a go then, shall we? I have no idea what to expect. I've never heard Seth Rogen do an accent before, so it's very interesting. The question is, how offensive is this going to be? <laughs> ah, potentially very. We are the Greenbounds, and we have American dreams. I find good job in Pico Factory. Sarah, this <laughs> vow. 100 years. Our this is so weird to see Seth Rogen prosper. doing a role like this. And then one day, everything changed. <laughs> that would be terrifying. That it's might be sort of greatest fear esque years, thing. The pickle brine preserved him perfectly. <laughs> I'm not sure how much scientific facts behind this. Changed. Everyone I know is gone. It's exactly the same theme as the um, the old guard trailer that I just watched. <laughs> so he's playing himself and his very very weirdly similar looking descendant. Where are they? They passed away. It was a car crash. You will tell me everything of their deaths, how their bodies died, their faces as the light left. We will bond over our pain. <laughs> Is it just me, or could this film end up being weirdly touching? Like in a very odd way. I don't know what it is, I'm warming to this. You have no wife, no children, no friends, no job. You need help. I'm fine. The accent's so overdone. But I can't love it. Wow, very pungent. Mm, yeah, that's straight from the devil. <laughs> finally make their parents proud. I like that line, I'm gonna use it more. About my parents. You never met them! You have captivated the hearts of the entire world. And probably not best case scenario for what the it's family's me. become. Really quite an interesting looking film. Saying. I'm sure this has aged well. If man does not throw punch, it is because <laughs> these men secretly had pull your arm. Something bad. <laughs> throw your punch! You know they cured polio, right? Like, <laughs> Jonas Salk. This is genuinely really interesting. Is this your father? No, that's David Bowie. Is this your mother? No, that's also David Bowie. That whole poster's <laughs> David Bowie. That's an excellent joke. So, as we saw, HBO Max's attempt to take over the world. That was really interesting. I mean, the humour style is was... I mean, a fish out of water thing can be massively overplayed, but that seemed to be sort of having its cake and eating it. It was kind of overplaying, but at the same time had this wonderful sort of strand of emotion that went throughout, which allowed it to, to really sort of warm to you and sort of cling on and not let go. I was really interested. I'd really love to give that a watch and see. I want to see how it works out. There's a genuine... There, there's enough there to feel like there will be an emotional climax of some sort, and it will be an interesting film with interesting themes, because... It didn't shove these themes in your face. It really made you feel like you wanted to go on the journey with the characters. The characters were what's important. That's what I thought was really cool. Anyway, what did you think of the trailer? Please whack any thoughts you have down in the comments below and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and come and subscribe to our channel where we've got plenty more videos for you to watch. In the meantime, please stay safe and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.